In this video, we continue looking at data structures. We take a look at how you're able to read and write from files. Most serious programs require some way of writing out information from memory to a file. This data can then, re can then be read back into the program at a later date, even if the program is closed and the computer turned off. Imagine a computer game which wasn't able to save your progress out to a file. You'd have to start again from scratch every time you loaded up the game. Or a word processor which wasn't able to save your work to the hard drive. Again, you'd have to complete your work all in one go before closing down the program. All programming languages offer a variety of ways to write out and read from a file. The simplest way to read and write from a file is to use serial files. Serial files store data with no special order. Whenever you add data to a serial file, it's simply appended to the end. To search data from a serial file, you begin at the start of the file and read all the data until you find the item you need. Data cannot be deleted from a serial file directly without creating a new file, copying all the data except the bit you want to delete. Data cannot be changed in a serial file without creating a new file and again copying all the data across to a new file, inserting the changes and carrying on. In this way, serial files can seem very limiting. However, they are very handy for maintaining simple data sets, text files and configuration files. There are more complex types of files, such as sequential files, where the order of data is maintained, index sequential files for large data sets, and random files which allow you to access any item without searching through the file from the start. As this is an introduction to file handling, however, we will stick with examples based on serial files. Pause the video below and study the following Visual Basic code for a moment. Can you work out what is going on here? So what actually is going on here? This is the magic line in this example. When in Visual Basic we use the command file open, we supply one, two, three parameters. The first is the name to give the pipe. This pipe is this actual connection between your program running in RAM and the file on disk. The second parameter is the location of the path to the file. In this case, it's datafile.txt stored on the root of the M drive. The final parameter is the method for the pipe. In this case, it's a pipe for outputting or writing data to a file. This line here actually creates the pipe and makes the connection between your program in memory and the physical file on disk. Once we've created the pipe, we can then refer to it by its reference, in this case, 1. Here, we see we are sending lines of text, one at a time, down pipe 1, from our program running in memory to the physical file, datafile.txt, on the end drive. Here, we close the pipe down and thus break the connection between our program and the datafile.txt file on the M drive. You will notice the pipe is one way or unidirectional. You can either set it up so you can write to the disk or read from the disk. You are not able to set up a single connection or pipe to both read and write at the same time. You can, of course, set up multiple pipes as long as you give them their own unique name and reference. Here are a list of other common commands available in Visual Basic, which are also replicated in many other languages, which allow you to work with files. Again, as with all other programming concepts, the only way to get confident with file handling is to practice it. These examples, and many more, are presented in your student programming guide available under the premium section of craigandave.org. You also might like to check out another video we have on file handling. 
It's on our YouTube channel under the GCSE OCR 2.2 Programming Techniques section and it's titled The Use of Basic File Handling Operations. It goes through exactly the same concepts we've shown in here, but the difference is, is all the coded examples and walkthroughs of file handling are in Python. This may be useful to you, especially if this has been a predominant language you're programming in.